multiple of 10 plus 5 stitches. 3 stitches are symmetry stitches and 2 stitches are edge stitches. In the first 4 rows we have only 1 symmetry stitch because the repeat is an even uh, number of stitches. So if it's not clear please <laughs> look in the chart, maybe it will be clearer. So let's start row number 1. The edge stitch is knit 1. And the repeat is slip one yarn over, knit one. Slip one yarn over means you go under the yarn and slip purlwise the stitch. As I said, you repeat this until you have uh, only two stitches left because you have only one symmetry stitch and then the edge stitch. So knit one and I continue. Slip one yarn over, knit one. Slip on yarn over, knit one until those two stitches left on the needle. Here are my two stitches, and the symmetry stitch is slip on yarn over, and the last edge stitch in color one is always slip one purlwise with yarn in front. So that's row number one. If you have <laughs> longer needles than I have, and I don't want, I don't need to do almost anything, I just slip them a little bit, you have to, if you have longer, you have to slip all the, slide all the stitches to the other end of the needle, pick up the second color yarn, I just put the tails together and start. When we need uh, in color 2 yarn, the first edge stitch is always slip one purlwise and just let the yarn be whatever it is. And the repeat for this row number two is brioche pearl, slip on yarn over. So we know what slip on yarn over means. And brioche pearl means that you uh, purl together the stitch and the yarn over from the previous row. It's kind of like a pearl two together so but in brioche that's um, brioche pearl in brioche that stitch and yarn over is considered one stitch and that's brioche pearl so you repeat um, brioche pearl slip on yarn over until you have only two stitches left the symmetry and edge stitch so here are my two stitches left and I say two because as I said in brioche the stitch and the yarn over is considered one stitch. So this is the symmetry stitch and this is the edge stitch. And the symmetry stitch is brioche pearl as we started, just that's how we have to finish. And the last edge stitch is slip one pearlwise with yarn in front. So in row number two is in front. And in row number four, it will be a slip on purlwise with yarn in the back. I will show you. After that, turn the work, pick up the first color yarn, and we start row number three. And again, the edge stitch is knit one, in color one, that's always knit one. And we start the repeat, and it will be a slip on yarn over, brioche purl. So it's the reverse of the previous row. We start with the, in row number two, we started with a brioche pearl and then slip on yarn over. And here we start on slip on yarn over and brioche pearl. So you repeat slip on yarn over, brioche pearl. And you repeat this until you have only two stitches left on the needle, the symmetry and the edge stitch. So here are my two stitches. And it's slip on yarn over, the symmetry stitch, and the edge stitch, as usual, in color one, slip one purlwise with yarn in front. After that, slide the stitches to the other end. I just move them a little bit. Pick up the second color yarn. And we start a row number four. As usual, in color one, we need in color two. The first edge stitches slip one purlwise. 
just let, leave the yarn where it is and slip it and the repeat for this row is brioche knit slip one yarn over so brioche knit is when you knit together the stitch and the yarn over from the previous row and slip one yarn over the same as we did before so repeat this until you have two stitches left on the needles on the needle on the left needle slip one yarn um, brioche knit slip one yarn over brioche knit slip one yarn over and here are the last two stitches two because the stitch and yarn over and brioche is considered as one stitch the symmetry stitch is uh, brioche knit and then uh, the last edge stitch as I said in row number two um, in color two it can be slip on provides with yarn in front or uh, with yarn in the back and in row number two it was slip one provides with yarn in front and in row number four it's slip one provides with yarn in the back so that's row number four and now we turn the work pick up the first color yarn row number five and we start with the edge stitch knit one and then symmetry stitches those three symmetry stitches and it's slip one yarn over brioche knit slip one yarn over and from this point we start the repeat I will have four in my work you can have how many you want so the repeat is brioche knit yarn over brioche knit that's the increase the two stitches increase in brioche so we brioche knit yarn over and brioche knit again in the same stitch now slip the stitch from the needle slip one yarn over and a left slant decrease so slip knitwise the stitch and yarn over knit together two stitches and yarn over, uh, yarn over that comes from a stitch and then pass over that first slip stitch and yarn over after that slip on yarn over and brioche knit two columns so that's one slip on yarn over brioche knit two slip on yarn over and that's the whole repeat and you start again from uh, from the increase brioche knit yarn over brioche knit so here I finished uh, all four repeats and as I said I have only the edge stitch left and it's slip one pro wise with yarn in front after each pattern row uh, you have to repeat rows two three and four that we did in the beginning and I want to show you that in row number two uh, we'll have an exception so to repeat in row number two it's brioche pearl slip one yarn over and the thing is that when you have the increase stitches here they are three stitches in color one you have to slip one yarn over pearl one stitch not brioche pearl but pearl and slip one yarn over and then continue uh, the normal repeat brioche pearl slip one yarn over and so on and so on so um, this is the difference for row number two after you have the increases and then uh, you repeat rows uh, three and four like we did with no exceptions and after finishing row number four we will continue with row number nine that's the next pattern row row number nine knit the edge stitch and again we have the symmetry stitches in the beginning slip one yarn over brioche knit slip one yarn over and now we start the repeat uh, the increase in this column so brioche knit yarn over brioche knit after that slip one yarn over brioche knit one slip one yarn over and now we will do the left slant decrease so mm, slip knit wise the stitch and yarn over 
knit together two stitches and a yarn over and pass over that first slip stitch and yarn over. After that slip one yarn over, brioche knit, slip one yarn over. So this is the whole repeat and you uh, do as many repeats as you have in your work in the end you slip pro-wise with yarn in front to the edge stitch and after this row as usual you need rows 2, 3 and 4 and we'll continue row number 13 as usual start by knitting the edge stitch and then slip on yarn over brioche knit slip on yarn over the symmetry stitches and now we start the repeat and it is uh, increase brioche knit yarn over brioche knit after that slip on yarn over brioche knit one slip on yarn over brioche knit two slip on yarn over And um, in the end, we have to do a right slant decrease. Uh, for that, slip knit twice the brioche stitch, knit the next stitch, pass over the first slip stitch, slip the stitch to the left needle, pass over the next brioche stitch, and slip the stitch to the right needle. So that's a right slant decrease and slip on yarn over in the end. So that was the repeat. You uh, do as many repeats as you have and then in the end uh, slip uh, purl wise with yarn in front the edge stitch. And after that knit rows 2, 3 and 4 as usual. Row number 17 and 33. It's very simple. Knit the edge stitch and then start the repeat, slip on yarn over, brioche knit. So you repeat that, slip on yarn over, brioche knit, slip on yarn over, brioche knit, until you have only two stitches left on the left needle. So here are only two stitches left, slip on yarn over the symmetry stitch and slip one pearl wise with yarn in front the edge stitch. And after this uh, Row you have to knit rows 2, 3 and 4. Row number 21, knit the first edge stitch and then knit those three symmetry stitches, slip on yarn over, brioche knit, slip on yarn over and we start the repeat. Brioche knit, slip on yarn over and now we have to do a right slant decrease so slip knit wise the brioche stitch knit the next stitch pass over that first slipped stitch slip the stitch to the left needle and pass over the next brioche stitch slip the stitch to the right needle so that's the right slant decrease after that slip on yarn over increase brioche knit yarn over brioche knit, slip on yarn over, brioche knit, slip on yarn over. So that's the whole repeat. You do as many repeats as you have in your work and then uh, knit rows 2, 3 and 4. Row number 25, knit the edge stitch, slip on yarn over, brioche knit, slip on yarn over the symmetry stitches and now we start the repeat and it's a right slant decrease so slip knitwise brioche stitch knit the next one pass over the first slip stitch slip the stitch to the left needle and pass over the next brioche stitch slip the stitch to the right needle after that slip on yarn over brioche knit one slip on yarn over Increase, brioche knit, yarn over, brioche knit, slip on yarn over and brioche knit one. Slip on yarn over. So that's the whole repeat. Uh, finish this row. After that knit rows two, three and four as usual. 
row number 29 and this is the only row where uh, the symmetry stitches are uh, in the end of the row that's why I'm showing you the last repeat and then I'll show you the symmetry stitches so I did uh, the I knit the edge stitch as usual knit one and then uh, did all the repeats that I will show you slip on yarn over left slant decrease so slip knit twice bring your stitch knit together two previous stitches and pass over the first slipped stitch after that slip on yarn over brioche knit two columns or one slip on yarn over brioche knit two slip on yarn over and here we are increasing so brioche knit yarn over brioche knit and that's the end of the repeat and after that after all the repeats after you do like I did all the repeats uh, in the end you slip on yarn over brioche knit slip on yarn over the symmetry stitches and then slip one pearl wise with yarn in front the edge stitch so that's uh, row number 29 after this row you need rows 2 3 and 4 and row number 33 uh, is uh, um, just like row number 17 that I showed you, the most uh, simple way to knit a row in brioche. And after row number 33, you knit again rows 2, 3 and 4 and that's the whole repeat of the pattern. So you start again from row number 5 and knit until row number 36. And repeat that again and again until you have the desired length of the scarf. Thank you.